Hi students, this is T. Balakrishna, Chemistry Lecturer, GPT Kottagudam. Today we are discussing about the fundamentals of chemistry. In this fundamentals of chemistry, we are discussing about the atomic structure. Here, Niels Bohr tried to explain the atomic structure based on Planck's quantum theory and Rutherford concept. This theory was proposed by Niels Bohr in 1913. Important points in Bohr's atomic theory. The electrons in an atom revolves around the nucleus in certain fixed circular path is called orbits. The electrons in an atom revolves around the nucleus in fixed circular path is called orbits. Every atom have electrons, protons and neutrons. In these electrons, protons and neutrons, protons and neutrons are present in center of the atom that is called nucleus. Electrons are revolving around the nucleus in fixed circular path. That path is called orbit. I saw the diagram. So, is a red color mark is represent the nucleus. This nucleus is contain protons and neutrons. This is a blue color is represent the electron. These electrons are revolving around the nucleus, just like uh, here. Electrons. So this is a nucleus. Electrons are revolving around the nucleus in fixed circular path. That path is called orbit, just like. Okay, right. So next, every orbit is associated with the definite amount of energy. So that orbit is called energy levels. Every orbit is associated with the definite amount of energy. So that orbit is called energy level. So as long as electron revolve in this orbit, it does not radiate the energy. So the energy of orbit is stable. So that orbit is called stationary orbit or energy level. So there are the points each orbit is associated with a definite amount of energy so that energy that orbit is called energy is also called as energy levels so next as long as the electrons revolves in an orbit it does not radiate energy hence the orbit are called stationary orbit or energy levels stationary orbits are energy levels There are many possible circular orbits around the nucleus in an, each atom. Each orbit is denoted by n. n is called principal quantum number or, or Bohr's integer. So there are many circular orbits around the nucleus. There are possible to, uh, possible to, uh, possible to uh, many, many number of circular orbits around the nucleus. So if there are many number, how to identify? By using of this number, this is principal quantum number denoted by the letter n. n is equal to 1, that is in a first orbital, n is equal to 2, that is in a second orbit. So, orbit, there is a difference between orbit and orbital. This is an orbit, n is equal to 1, that is in a first orbit, n is equal to 2, that is in a second orbit, n is equal to 3, that is in a third orbit. It's also represented in this manner. It is in a nucleus, it is in a positively charged nucleus. So, uh, n is equal to 1 that is the first orbital or k shell n is equal to second orbital or l shell n is equal to 3 that is in a third orbit or m shell n is equal to 4 that is in a fourth orbit or n shell so it is an orbit not an orbital so it is also repeated n is equal to 1 first orbital or k shell n is equal to the second orbital or L shell orbit not orbital n is equal to 3 that is in a third orbit or m shell n is equal to 4 that is in a fourth orbit or n shell. So as the n values increases the size of the orbit as well as the energy also increases as well as the energy also increases. If the n values increases the n values increases the size of the orbit also increases this is in the first orbit the size is this n is equal to the second orbit the size is this n values increase the n is equal to 4 that is in the third orbit the size is this if the n value is increases size of the orbit is increases so easily understand by uh, 
observe this diagram okay as n values increases size of the orbit as well as energy of orbit also orbit also increases so that means the second orbit energy is higher than first orbit the third orbit energy is higher than second orbit so as n values increases size of the orbit as well as energy of orbit also increases it is a very very important point n values increases size of the orbit as well as energy of orbit also increases next one the electrons revolve around the nucleus in an orbit the angular momentum of electron is an integer multiply of h by 2 pi h by 2 pi if the electron is revolving around the nucleus in fixed circular path every electron has some angular momentum that angular momentum is calculated by formula mvr is equal to n into h by 2 pi so in this formula m is the mass of the electron v is the velocity of the electron r is the radius of orbit h is the planck constant the planck constant value is 6.625 into 10 to the power of minus 27 x per seconds next to n is the principal quantum number it is the integer value so here r value v value is vary with uh, the depending upon the electron present in which orbit so mass of the electron is constant next one the electrons are jumps from lower orbit to higher orbit it absorbs the energy if it is jumps from higher orbit to lower orbit it emit the energy that energy is called radiation energy the you know uh, higher energy orbit higher energy low energy orbit will have low energy so if the electron jumps from higher to lower it emit the energy if they jumps from lower to higher they absorb the energy like this so saw the diagram the electron jumps from fourth orbit to second orbit so it lose some amount of energy because the before they have high energy orbital it is entering to low energy orbital it release some amount of energy that energy difference is called radiation energy that radiation energy is calculated by the formula delta e is equal e2 minus e1 is equal to h nu the energy of radiation is emitted or absorbed is equal to the difference in energy of the two orbits so electron jumps from fourth to second for energy of fourth orbit minus energy of second orbit so such amount of energy is released from the atom that energy is called radiation energy radiation energy in this formula delta e is equal so we saw the diagram that is uh, radiation energy so electron jumps from we have another diagram also to understand this one uh, so this uh, saw this diagram so if the electron is uh, rotating in second orbit if they are jumps from second to first orbit it emit the energy if they are absorbed the energy the electron is jumps from second orbit to first orbit so that energy is called radiation energy the energy is called radiation energy as you clear if the electron jumps from lower to higher they absorb the energy they are jumps from higher to lower second inch first jump in up energy these come to the second inch first question of energy just in the second inch first uh, second is a thought again now uh, energy these come to that is a difference between uh, uh, the calculator formula delta e is equal e2 minus e1 okay right delta e2 minus e1 so in this formula delta e is the delta e is the energy difference e1 is the low energy of low energy orbital e2 is the energy of higher energy orbital h is the planck constant nu is the frequency of radiation okay okay energy of energy orbital energy of low energy orbital h is the planck constant nu is the frequency of radiation that amount of energy is radiated from the atom by losing or gaining of energy Thank you students. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is T. Balakrishna, GPT, Kottagudam. Thank you. Thank you very much.